Finally after the long wait, we are getting Clorinde Banner in version 4.7, so let's check that should you pull on Clorinde Banner or not. Before that, for the players who wanted Primo Gems for Clorinde Banner, we are going to make a giveaway of 10 plus Blessing of the Welkin Moon, as soon as we reach 38k subscribers in this channel. To win in the Blessing of the Welkin Moon giveaway, you just have to subscribe, like this video, and comment the reason why you want the Welkin Moon. This time, we will select the winner you choose, and to get Chusen, you just have to get as many likes as possible on your total comments, until we reach 38k subscribers. So, let's get to the main topic, Clorinde is actually worth pulling, because she will function as a powerful DPS, and will have mechanics similar to our Lechino with the Bond of Life. When Clorinde uses her E ability, she will be able to deal increased damage to opponents, depending on the level of Bond of Life. And depending on the state of Bond of Life, Clorinde will deal lunge attacks and massive AoE damage to her enemies, and she will also be able to heal herself using her E ability. Clorinde also has a powerful ultimate ability, where she will dash away and evade her enemies, while dealing massive AoE damage. And mainly, Clorinde gains massive damage output through her passive ability, Dark Shattering Flame, and a crit rate boost through Lawful Remuneration. Overall, Clorinde is a self-sustaining unit that can deal lots of damage, while also healing herself to keep her active in combat, so yes, she is worth pulling. I'll make a detailed comparison video of Clorinde and the other Electro Element characters, and if you want to win the giveaway, then subscribe, like, and comment.